Our demo today uses Microsoft sample database called the Contoso Data Warehouse. You can download it from Microsoft at this URL and the script walks you through a sample command to restore it. You'll just need to change file locations to match your test instance of SQL Server. And then we configure query store just in case it comes in handy. I have already set up my database. So I'm gonna use Contoso Retail DW. And let's take a look at the table where we will be creating an index. The table is named DIM employee. The table has quite a few columns. We won't be using all of these in our non-clustered index. It contains information for all of the employees of Contoso. And we've got an employee key, we've got their names, their hire dates, lots of information about the folks who work at Contoso. When we look at indexes in SQL Server, the built-in SP help index command, it it's only a little bit helpful. It does at least give us information on how many indexes we have on the table. Right now, the table only has one index named PK dim employee employee key. It is a clustered index on the table. It's also a primary key. Because it is a clustered index, we know this is the table itself. And SP help index, it does at least give us the list of keys. That clustered index on the table only has one key column. It is employee key. So the table itself is all sorted by that employee key column, which is an integer. If we wanna find an employee by say last name, the clustered index of the table is not going to help us. There are not yet any non-clustered indexes on the table. We are gonna go ahead and create one. Our non-clustered index, I've given it a name, and I've said, I want it to have three key columns. I'm creating it on the DIM employee table. And here are my three key columns, last name, then first name, then employee key. I don't have to have includes, but in this case, I am saying I do wanna have some included columns. I want three included columns and they are middle name, the emergency contact name, and the status. Now at the end of this command, I'm doing something a little bit wacky here. I'm, this is just for the purpose of demo. This is a small index. And I wanna show you what if we need a, an intermediate level in our index. So what I'm telling SQL Server is, on the leave of this index, leave a ton of empty space. In T-SQL, when I say with fill factor equals one, I'm saying only fill it up 1%. For the leaf of the index, and we'll see what that is, leave 99% of the pages empty. And this means we have a lot of empty space on those pages. The empty space on the pages will be both in storage and in memory. So if we were to do this on a, a lot of indexes and they were big, we would waste a ton of space. We would bloat out our indexes. This is just for the purposes of demoing and making it an adventure to explore this little index. So it creates our index quickly and we could try to look at this with SP help index, but SP help index, it's only a little bit helpful. It does have a line here for both of our indexes. Here's the clustered index, and now here's the non-clustered index of the table, but it only gives us the index name, a description, and then the keys. It, I, I've scrolled all the way to the right here. It doesn't give me information on, are there included columns? It doesn't even give me the ID of the index in case I want to use that in some of my scripts. So because of that, I've written a custom procedure that looks at the dynamic management views and pulls out of sys.index is the index ID and pulls out of the partition stats DMV information on how many pages it has. It connects to a lot of different dynamic management views. You can grab it on GitHub, you can write your own, but this essentially, I just wanna get some information about my table, especially I'm gonna need my index ID that this was assigned for some of my later commands. Looking at the details on this, I have my non-clustered index here at line two. I can verify that from the index create statement as well as the name. This was assigned index ID 28. That doesn't mean there's 28 indexes on the table. There's only two, they're 
before I restored this database, there used to be other indexes that were dropped. So I have index ID 28, which is just a sign of indexes passed. My index only has 244 pages, converting that, right? This is zero gigs. Uh, this is a very small index. Notice that the clustered index of the table itself is only 17 pages because it doesn't have that crazy fill factor. I have 244 pages because I said on the leaf of my index, fill it only 1% full, and it was only able to put one to two rows per page, right? I have 293 rows, I have 244 pages. A lot of these pages in the leaf of my index is an 8K page that only has one little row on it and a lot of empty space just to make our exploration interesting. I'm going to use that index ID in a command to pull data from the sys.dmdb index physical stats dynamic management view. This will give me a picture of the structure of my index because I'm saying for my current database, I wanna look at the dim employee table and I specifically wanna look at index ID 28. This is not a partitioned index, so I have null for that parameter. And I want a detailed look, a detailed summary of the physical stats for this index. And this DMV says, here's a little picture of your index. We have three levels to this index. When you look at index levels, level zero is always the leaf of the index, like a tree, all of the data is in what's called the leaf of the index. And it's the leaf of our index that has 244 pages in it. It's 1.9 megabytes. Now, the level two of our index is the top or bottom of our index, depending on which way your tree is pointing. It only has one page. This is the root page of our index. And when SQL Server uses this index, it goes to that root page to find its way through the index. We have one intermediate level of the index that's level one and it has two pages on it. If I go back and kind of change my column width here, we can see information about the average page space used in percent. That's one of the things our dynamic management view gives us. And this is the leaf of our index. This is level zero with 244 pages. It is only 1.3% full. That's because I put that super low fill factor on my index. So let's take a, a look at some of these pages. 